Right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a bit of my like houseplant maintenance. Um, I've got a few plants to pot up and a few plants to just like sort out, trim back, cut off any dead bits. Um, and because I have quite a few to do, I thought I would film it and let you guys kind of have a look into my houseplants again because I haven't shown my houseplants in quite a while. Um, I think I'll follow this video with a houseplant it won't be a tour because I'm not going to tour you around, but I'll, I'll show you like a houseplant collection. I'll show you every every houseplant that I have at the moment, um, which will end up probably being quite a long video. So that's why I'm not going to include it in this. So yeah, this is just going to be potting up, like I said, a bit of maintenance, showing you guys what I do, etc. So um, the first plant that I'm going to be potting up is right. So I have here my Epiphyllum uh, Rick Rat Cactus cuttings that um, one of my close friends gave me and I take I, I put two of the cuttings in water two of the cuttings in water and then two of the cuttings in um, this soil mix and both the cuttings in water are still alive rooted really well they like I have cleared out that water a few times but they are in dire need of transplanting they just look a bit mank but the ones that I've been t that I've taken in soil have grown two shoots so this guy is completely new from the cutting this is the cutting here and then here you can see this new growth coming from this cutting so definitely recommend like it's e it's always easier to take cuttings in water just plunk them in water and leave them um like literally no maintenance required but you can just see from this that it does benefit to stick them in soil um so yeah I'm going to be transplanting these out today because they really need it and they're going to be going into a nice big terracotta pot. Um, so what else have I got? I guess I'll show you what I'm potting up first and then we'll go through it. Um, I've got my chlorophytum here which um, needs transplanting. It's doing really well. It, dry, it just dries out too quickly in this pot. Um, obviously I knew the pot was too small when I put it in there anyway but I thought it looked nice. Um, so that's going to be going into a bigger pot. Um, preferably I'd want to put that in a plastic pot because of the root system and they're very like fibrous and it like grabs onto terracotta but I only have terracotta pots to use at the moment so it's going to be going into a slightly bigger terracotta pot um, then I've got my variegated string of t um, string of hearts uh, my variegated serapegia which this was a cutting I took a long time ago and it's grown and then I have uh, my actual plant here which has grown a lot so I'm gonna be um, probably I'll probably cut this take some more cuttings and then potting up these two together in one pot um, and then potting the cuttings in this glass again um, just because it's very very easy like that's been there and I've forgotten about that so many times and it's just grown for me so let's pop that down so I'm gonna um, change the camera angle um, I'm just using ordinary pot and compost with a very small amount of um, perlite in there because I didn't really I don't, with this soil because it's so airy it's not necessary um, and I want to keep my perlite for my carnivorous plants because I'm like very low um, in like I've got hardly any left so that's all I'm going to be using I've just stuck it in this pot just for convenience mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, let's turn the camera around and I'll, s I'll get going with this. Right, so I'm going to start off with my um, with my epiphyllum. Um, I'm going to put it in this pot. This pot never has had a plant planted in it. I did have one of my peperomias just placed in it. Um, but that peperomia is no longer needing this pot because it died. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be actually planting this into this pot and it's a nice size and it should last it pretty well. So I'm going to, I guess first I'll half fill the pot with some soil, um, mix it around first. I'm going to probably get mess everywhere, but <laughs> um, ideally I should put something else in this mix. Oh god, it's going everywhere. Right, I'm just going to have to accept that it's going to make a mess. So I've just half filled the pot and then going to be a bit tricky. I've got to, got to be careful getting these out of this um, mix here, although this should come up fairly easy. If I just try and get my finger under there. Right, 
Right, so because of how shallow the root system is, I'm going to add a little bit more compost to the pot first. Oh, and it's going all over the floor. Right, there was probably definitely an easier way to do this, but... <laughs> right, I'll just place them gently first, and then I can arrange them after. So let's get this one out slowly. There we go. And then pop that one in. That side. Right, so now I can get rid of that pot. Move that over there. And these ones in here, like, I'm um, not too worried about how well they're going to transition from soil, um, from water to soil. Oh, that is tangled. Oh, there is actually a little growth point on here. Let me. Only on one of them. Let me try and slowly tease them apart. This is disgusting. Right, so this one here doesn't have a growth point, it doesn't look like. And the roots, you see how much algae they've got all over them. Just, yeah, not very, not very nice. But let's get that in there. Um, and this one here, there is actually a little... Um, Christmas cactus or Easter cactus there as well which I forgot was even in there I can I'll pop that to the side and do that later but um, can you see there's a little growth point coming up on that um, it doesn't it just doesn't look like it's shot up very healthily or quickly uh, let's get that one in down here so I'm gonna give this a good water once I've planted these just so that um, just so the water ones don't take too much of a shock because the soil is quite dry at the moment. All right, let's lift this bucket up here. It should fill out this pot quite nicely um, in a couple of months, I guess, once, it's, once they start shooting out a lot more. Yeah, the soil is a lot drier than I thought it was. This is so tricky to do on camera. Normally I'd just whack it in and it would take a couple of minutes, but this is just, it feels so, like, tricky to do whilst filming. Um, even though I guess it's exactly the same. I guess I just don't really know what to talk about either because this is why I've never really done a potting up video because I feel like I don't really have much to talk about. Or it's not that I don't have much to talk about, I just don't know what to say. Um, Get more under this one to stabilize it a bit better. Oh, that's so wobbly. Um, let's get that up under there. There's too much dirt on my hand. Right, let's try and lift you up, pat this down around you a little bit better. There we go. Oh, these two are way too close together. Right, I think that'll do for now. And then we can kind of see how they do. And once I water it, I can top up the soil a bit more once it sinks down. But they're definitely going to enjoy that a lot more than that pot they were in previously. Let's just scoop that into the pot. Right, so that's definitely an improvement and that is something that I've needed to do for a while. So let's quickly give it a water. Um, for my water, I just used an old What's this, like a Pepsi bottle? And then I've pierced a hole in the top, so it's just quite convenient, I suppose. Um, for my room, at least. All right, so I'll continue to water this off camera because it's gonna take a little while to soak through. And then I'll move on to putting up something else, which will probably be a bit easier than this one was. <coughs> There we go. So if you guys have one of these epiphyllums, uh, let me know how quickly yours grow. Because I was obviously under the um, impression they grow very slowly. And I've had this, I don't really remember how long I've had this for yet. Like, I'll, I'll need to look back at my video maybe. But I mean, this grew, once it started shooting up, it took about three weeks to get this tool. 
So like once they start growing, I guess they grow really quickly, but they probably just take a long time to actually get established first. But that's gonna look really nice once it gets a lot bigger. So I'll move that over to one side and then we can get on the next one. Right, so now we've got my little chlorophytum here, this one. I'm gonna, I'm guessing it's gonna be quite tricky to get out of this pot because I feel like the roots are probably really attached to it. Um, but I think we are gonna go with this guy, which again is probably still too small for this plant, but I don't have anything else that I really wanna put it into at the moment. And I think it'll look pretty nice in there. So we're gonna go for that for now. Yeah, so for now, just this one, and this should be fairly straightforward. So let's quickly get some soil in the bottom of this pot first. If I move it down there, that, there we go. Why didn't I think of that before? Hold it above the pot. And then the dirt don't go everywhere. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, this should be fairly straightforward, hopefully. Because these get really thick, fi like, not fibrous, like, really thick, tuberous roots, I suppose, is the best way to explain it. Um, oh, it's coming out really easy. Yeah, like, um, you can see, I don't know where you can see. You can see, like, this root here, they get really fat and chunky. Um, I'm sure there's a more scientific way of describing that, but for now we're going with fat and chunky. Uh, this, I do also have a little tiny dish for this um, pot, like a water dish. Um, oh god, this is so dry. Ugh. Um, so that'll make it a lot easier to look after because then I can kind of let it sit in water um, and then remove the dish, empty it, so that it fully soaked through. Whereas this pot never had a drainage hole. So it was, it was easier for me to water it, then let it dry out properly and then water it again. Whereas now I'll be able to keep on top of the water in a bit better. So let me just, ask, I should use one of these little pots to scoop the dirt. And then that'll be easier to backfill. Um, I don't use any houseplant feed on these plants. This guy had um, my, what's it called? Um, those little, it's like slow release fertilizer balls. <laughs> what are they called? Um, I don't remember the name, it slips from me at the moment, but um, this one did have those in to begin with, but they only last about six months, and I'm sure this has been in that pot for the majority of those six months, I don't really know how long I've had it for. Um, there we go, that'll do for now. And this is going to be, I'm going to leave that little lip there so that it's easier to water. Oh, I hate this mess on my desk. Um, yeah, that looks really nice in that pot. It suits it. And I like the little, like, salt marks or whatever that is. <laughs> I think it looks very um, decorative. Right, so there's that guy, and I'll need to give that a good water. If I can find that dish, I'll water it in a second. Um, and we have this really nice little pot here, which doesn't have a hole in, unfortunately. I mean, it wouldn't take two minutes to drill a hole in the bottom. Um, but I just really like that pot, so I want to put something in there, and it's nice and small, so it doesn't take up too much space. So let me see what I can pot in that pot. Right, so I think for now I'm going to pop these little leaf cuttings in there. Um, these are, I don't know the name of these, they're some t type of sedum, I believe. Um, take a closer look, and when they get bigger, the edges of the leaves get nice and, like, ready pinky um and because i've just kept them in this really shallow dish that they that my friend gave me them in um they've not really grown so much so i reckon if i pop them in this pot obviously i'll keep on top of the watering and make sure i don't water too much because there's not a hole in the bottom um i reckon they'll, they'll enjoy that and they'll grow quite quickly so i'll just fill this pot up um, And this is going to be a really easy transition. So um, let's try to do this without breaking any of the roots, which is going to be probably impossible. So let's just try and dig it out with my finger. This is where it's like not good to have fat fingers. I could use a pencil or something like that. That would make sense. But <laughs> right, 
So let's just dig a little hole there. There we go. There's one. And once these leaves grow big enough on these little cuttings, I'll be able to then take leaf cuttings off of those as well to create a, a bushier plant. Um, probably just pick that up like that. Yeah, if I get the majority of that in there, that'll be that'll be good. Uh, I might face it the opposite way, like that. Yeah, so let's dig a little trench. Get you in there. Push down very gently. There we go, and then when, when I water that in, that will kind of settle the soil. Um, but I don't want to water it too much. Let me actually water that now. Otherwise, I will probably forget. But just, a, just a little water now, and then, and then later on, I'll check it again and see if it can do with a little bit more. So that'll do for now. Yeah, I was talking about fertilizer, wasn't I? So I don't use any liquid feed in here. I do have some. Um, I got some for my orchids, um, which is just the baby bio orchid feed, and. What was it? Oh, so it's 5, 2, and then 0 0.8, so NPK. So it's got a lot of nitrogen, not so much potassium or phosphate. So, um, yeah, I could use that. That, that would work on um, houseplants as well. So I guess I could give that a try because I've got a whole bottle of it. I used like only a couple of drops of it. Because you don't water, because I don't water the orchids very often, so I haven't ended up using a lot of it. So I could try that. I do have the liquid seaweed, but it absolutely stinks, and I don't ever want that smell in my room. Right, there you go. That's those three. So I do have the string of um, the string of um, I keep calling it string of pearls, uh, the string of hearts to do. So I guess I'll do that now. But I think what I'll do first is take the cuttings because then it'll make it a lot easier for me to work with. So if I grab that little glass, if I'll plant the, I'll plant this bit, I'll plant this bit first, and then I'll have the glass free to use up, um, to take the cuttings and put it in. So I think I reckon I'll put them in this pot here. I just remove those. I think I'll put it in this pot here. Um, this again doesn't have a drainage hole, but these like to dry out between watering so that's not a problem for me um, move those over yeah so if I quickly pop I, I'm gonna need to practically fill this up so let's do that now um, I did order some begonias online um, the other day they're going to take up to 10 days to come but um, I did get some really nice varieties so I'm going to be doing an unboxing of those when they arrive so that will build up my houseplant collection a little bit more um, because I have kind of cleared a few of my houseplants just because they were really taking over like a lot of space um, I did remove a few of them um, get rid of a few so it's gonna be nice to get a few back <laughs> Right, I think there's, yeah, there's two cuttings in here, so let's hope these roots come out of this pot nice and easy. Come on. Why is that, why is that not coming? Oh, I think it's stuck to the wall. Oh no, right. Let's just gently tease, maybe if I get one at a time, that may. There we go. Yeah, one of the roots did snap a little bit. <clears throat> but that's alright. Yeah, there's hardly any roots on here, look. So it's been in there for that long, and it's only got those. Um, hey ho. Let's get those in. I'll put those in both in one side. Sorry, it's not even on camera. I'll put those in both both in one side, and then the other pot can go the other side so that I don't disturb those roots. <laughs> That's not going to fill out very much, is it? Um, I do want to try the cutting method where you, like, cut a stem and then wrap it around and kind of bury it slightly under the soil. Um, I do want to try that because it does look like it works quite well, but I just have not tried that before. Um, I probably should. 
Right, and then with this one, I'm going to cut it quite hard, I think, just to take a few cuttings. So if I try and... This is so tricky to get this on camera. So I'll cut them into lengths of maybe... If I cut maybe here, if I cut there, and then snip that back a little bit, and then take off these two leaves. There we go, so then we've got the node, the node there that can root in the, in the water here, and I'll fill that water up a bit more. So I'm going to repeat that with probably two thirds of the stem, and then it will make the transplanting quite a bit easier, and I'll have a few more cuttings. Right, there we go. So we've got some more cuttings in there. And they can just stay in there until they've rooted. Now for the tricky part to get this in here. So if I kind of make a big divot first because the pot is quite big. I'm not sure how well rooted it is in here. But I'm going to assume it's well rooted because it's been in there for a fair few months now. And again, this is really dry, so it's going to make an absolute mess. Out you come, gently, come on. Oh, oh wow, this is rooted really well. There we go. Oh, this mess is horrible. Okay, right, I'm gonna need to actually, oh, you can see there the, the little um, tuber is growing as well. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Little tuber there, so. Uh, let's just dig a big hole in here. Get that in there, maybe I'll, just gently brush off a little bit of the soil. There we go. Oh, this is so horrible. <laughs> Making such a mess. Oh, there we go, that was fairly easy. And then I can just sprinkle some of this on top just to flatten it out. Still leaving that di divot there, like that um, lip, so that watering is not a problem. Oh, there's a dead leaf there. There we go. Now that's not filling up that pot very much at all but it's definitely giving it that space that it needs. Yeah, there's so much space in the middle. I could probably stick a cactus in the middle or something <laughs> just to fill it up for now. But yeah, that's looking better. And then let me just clear this up because this is like distracting me far too much. And then I'll continue on. Right, so I've just cleared that up now so I can continue without my head hurting. Um, I've just topped up the little glass with some fresh water. So now I'm gonna sit that, um, not directly under my propagator light, but I'm gonna sit it close to it. So it does get um, a fair amount of light, but not too much. And I'm gonna leave it there um, for a few months and just let it do its thing. Um, obviously ensuring that I top up the water when necessary. So, um, yep, I need to water the chlorophytum. Um, this the water's f the the water the soil's fairly damp for, on this one at the moment, but I will I will give it a bit of a water only because the water propagation is going to go for a little bit of like trauma. Um, but yeah, I'm f I think it looks all right so far. And this um, let's move this. And my epiphyllum is looking really nice now. I've give it, given it a water and it's kind of settling in. Um, let me just. Yeah, and I think that's going to fill out that pot really nicely. It is looking a little bit sparse, sparse at the moment, um, but like I said, it's going to fill out really nicely, especially considering how quickly these grow. Um, so yeah, looking really good. Um, I do have my seed, my cactus seedlings that I'd like to show you guys, only because you haven't seen them in such a long time. I'm actually not sure if... Yeah, I definitely have shown them on my channel before. But I'll grab those now and show you, and I'm, I'm debating on whether I want to transplant them yet or not. Um, the reason that I do want to transplant them is because they're growing really close together. Um, and then the reason that I wouldn't transplant them is because they're growing really well, as they are at the moment. Um, but you can see, I don't know if you can see the colour. Some of the colours on here, like this one here, excuse my dirty hands. These ones here are growing really deep purple. 
and they just look lovely and then the taller ones are a nice green with like a red stripe on them and this was like a mixed packet of seeds uh, I can see if you can try and they're like a decent size these are about I think they're coming up to two years old yeah they've got to be they're coming up they're definitely like a year and a half at least um, so I think I'll probably leave them in there for a bit longer only because like if I had the perfect pot for them I'd probably transplant a few of them into one pot together but um, oh actually I think I have the date here Oh, 16th of the 2nd, 2019, so they're just over one year. Yeah, well, yeah, about a year and a half, almost. Um, so yeah, they're looking really good, but this one's absolutely growing giant. This one's growing really tall, and this one's growing really chunky. And then these little guys down here, there's... I don't know if you can see, that one in the centre there, does that, like, to me, it's like looking like it may be variegated, and I'm hoping it is, but it's very yellow. Um, and it's... I don't know... I do want to transplant them. Maybe I will transplant them and space them out a little bit better. Even if I transplant them back into the same container, but just have them more spaced out, that may help. Um, but yeah, this container doesn't have drainage holes at all. I just like drench it and then let it dry out and then let it dry out completely. Like this gets really warm where I've got it sitting because it's sitting in like a south facing window. It gets really hot and bakes them dry and then I'll water them again, and they seem to be enjoying that. Um, so yeah, I think maybe I'll transplant a few of these. And what else do I have to transplant? I do have one of my aloes um, here, which is growing a baby. I don't know if you can see it just there. And I'm not, I don't like the soil it's in. It's like, it feels quite peaty. It feels like, uh, so it doesn't dry out quickly. So I think I want to change the soil in that. Um, but I don't really have a pot for it at the moment. I'd like to get it a nice terracotta pot. So I'll be transplanting that another day, but that just looks lovely. And it's it's not really grown that much, but it's put on quite a bit of growth. But like I said, because the soil the soil doesn't drain very quickly, I've been it's kind of made me not water it so much because I don't want to lose it. But it was nice to see that it had a little baby growing because I noticed that about two or three days ago. Um, yeah, but he's looking really nice. Definitely needs a different pot. I'm not enjoying the plastic pot it's in. Right, so I've decided that I'm actually going to leave these in this pot just for a bit longer until I have something suitable to transplant them into um, because they are just doing so well. But I do want to do it soon so that the guys that are so close together don't start like making each other disformed like or formed unevenly. Um, so instead of planting those up, I'm going to actually pot up my little uh, whale fin because as you know, it is in a very, very small pot. And I did notice the other day that it is actually starting to shoot up a second leaf. So um, let me change the camera angle so you can actually see the whole thing. Right, so yeah, it's in this really, really small pot. And I knew when I planted it in here that it was not a suitable size, um, but it's a really cool pot. <laughs> So I'm just going to put it into something a little bit bigger. Um, I'm thinking maybe this pot. I mean, that's quite a bit bigger, but that's obviously better. Um, probably in that pot. It doesn't have a hole in the bottom, but neither did this one. And I just keep it more on the dry side so that there's no risk of overwatering. Um, so let me basically fill this pot up with soil. And then because this is a really small pot, it's not gonna take up too much space. So I did add a bit more, I did add a bit of perlite to the mix just because um, it was just really just soil. And I thought I may as well just add a little bit. Right, yeah, so I've just added the soil there. And then this is gonna make a mess again. Messes don't normally bother me, but I feel like <laughs> soil will just be in everywhere, really. I don't enjoy it. Right, let's just gently pull this out. Oh, I felt lots of roots there. Oh, wow, yeah. Look at all the roots on the bottom. So, yeah, that's perfect, because it's not too root-bound. 
but yeah, th there you go. You can see the little baby leaf coming up. It looks like there's, yes, yeah, so there's a leaf coming up there, and then it's continuing to grow outward. Let me try and get a bit closer to the, to the camera without making a mess. Yeah, you can see that better. So there's a new leaf coming up, so that's perfect time to transplant it. Oh, mess. All right. So I'm just gonna dig a big divot in the middle and then push it down in there. If this soil allows it, it's just too dry, right. Oh no, let me just grab some. Get you in there. And then backfill. And these leaves do grow really slowly, so I won't be expecting to see that new leaf actually come out of the surface of the soil for another, oh, I'd gotta say another few months to be honest because they just grow really slowly. Hopefully it'll take less than that, but I'm not expecting it. That looks really nice in that pot to be fair. And it's definitely a lot more suitable. So it'll just, once it gets settled in there, again, just need to water it in to settle the soil. But that looks really nice in there. Um, That was completely out of focus the whole time. Oh. Right, there we go, so it's in that pot now. I don't know how to get that angle so that you can actually see the whole thing without you seeing anything else in my room. Right, so I think that looks nice in there. So I'll give that a quick water um, just to help it settle in. I really like the colours together. I like the colour of the pot and then the colour of the leaf. Just looks really nice. Cool. All right, so that's that done. Um, so I think that's everything that I'm gonna pot up for the moment. Um, so I'll just show you a couple of my other plants, just a little a little update. And then, like I said, anyway, my next video is gonna be um, a big plant update tour collection anyway. So I won't be showing everything in this video, but if I just turn the camera around. Right, so I'm just going to finish off with showing you guys a few of my plants, just a select few that are looking really nice at the moment, um, just because. <laughs> I don't really know why, I just I thought I'd share with you some that are looking really good. So my Sansferia Silver Flame has grown a lot, and I know I talk about this one quite a lot, but I think a lot of people love this one, and it's definitely popular on my Instagram as well. So um, this has grown so much. Um, this whole new leaf here is brand new. Well, I say brand new. New since I bought it. Um, this leaf here is brand new as well. And then this guy at the front is new. Um, again, I'm not going to divide them until they really need to be divided. Um, because I want the root systems to just like be as well as they can be. And as soon as I divide them, they're going to take even longer to grow again. So... I will just leave them in this, the, like I don't mind them being in this like plastic pot either to be fair, but yeah, that, that is looking so good. I was t I was debating whether to get some leaf shine and put some leaf shine on it and see like how well it works, but then again I'm like not, not really too keen on the idea of using chemicals when I don't need to, so it was an idea, but let me know, let me know what you guys think about that. That, like do you guys use leaf shine on yours and what's your experience like with it um yeah just because i'd be quite interested to see or hear um my ficus elastica variegata um is l looking okay it's lost a couple of leaves like a couple of the lower leaves have come off and then it's brand new leaf has unfortunately broken off as well you can see that huge wound it's left but there is like a new a new shoot coming up um but it's a bit annoying about that new leaf. New leaf. Uh, yeah, so it's not looking that great. It's still in its nursery pot, and um, it's just it's just chilling. Uh, I have kind of neglected it though. It does need repotting, and um, I left it a really long time without watering it. So that is why it lost that leaf. Um, um, but some stuff that is looking really good right now. This planter, I don't. I like. I, I'm sure I've shown it on my channel before, but. Um, I did do a video of making this and then it turned out the footage weren't too great so I ended up not uploading it. But this, I really love this, it's looking really like really nice. It's not growing much at all. I guess maybe a couple of new leaves have grown on this little guy. 
Um, I'm not too certain of the names of these at the moment. I did have the names, but I've since misplaced them, so I don't really know. But they're looking really, really nice. Um, I love that little cactus there. Uh, and like, I know this is commonly known as like watches chains, but I don't know the name of it. Oh, it's actually starting to. There's some roots coming out of the out of the stems. I don't know if you'll be able to see. No, you can't really see, but yeah, I guess just there. There's you can see there's a root coming out. So I might actually take some cuttings of that. I never considered taking cuttings of that before, but I saw these on um, Stories and Succulents um, channel, um, Lara, and it really made me want some because like they're so unique. It looks like a conifer. It looks like something that should be in the garden, but to have it indoors, I think it's pr so pretty. Um, I'll leave a link to stories and succulents channel as well because I, she definitely deserves more views than she's um, getting at the moment and she's it's just really enjoyable to watch her videos it's a more relaxed just enjoyable video rather than I feel like mine I'm just like too pressured and it's like ugh. but yeah I'll leave a link to her channel definitely go check her out um, but yeah this is looking really lovely at the moment and then I have one of my aloes here which is aloe very Gartum, variegatum or variegata. Um, I can't get that bloody label off and it's really annoying. But this has grown so much and it's looking really good. Um, it's just that label that's ruining the look really. But the good thing about this is there are one, two, three, four, five little pups coming up. You can see the tiny little pups down here. And one, there's one coming up right over here, far away from the, the base, which is really cool. So when they grow, I'll definitely divide those. Because like, although it looks really nice as it's getting taller, like that looks really nice. I don't want it to get too much taller, although it's go obviously it's going to get a lot taller, but I enjoy it looking like that size. So when I take these um, pups away, I'll probably end up keeping the pups. And then when this gets a lot taller, maybe getting rid of the, the mother plant and then growing on the babies. Um, but yeah, it's looking really nice. Um, it needs watering because the leaves have got really thin. But yeah, it looks lovely and I love the pattern on that. It's just really nice. So I think that was quite a popular one as well when I showed it before. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to show for the moment. Because like I said, I'm going to be doing a um, collection video next so you guys can look forward to seeing that and i'll show you everything in that video um but yeah thank you guys all for watching i hope this was enjoyable um hopefully it was more relaxing than annoying <laughs> so um but um let me guys let me know what you guys think of my plants in the comment section and leave a like if you enjoyed and please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my plants and my garden I suppose so um, yeah thank you all for watching I'll see you in my next video